Bro, I've tried to the look at the unknown playing smart music flower pot. Can play intelligent, intelligent music flower, flower pots. This one is three dollars at Marshalls. This one is playing smart music flower pot. Can play. I brought in blue. They only have two blues and one pink available. Bluetooth speakers, multicolor lights, real plans, Bluetooth, colorful light, 363 sound, long time play, bass. On the front, even says it. On the side, water scuplet, it has water scuplet touch sensor, USB charging, power mode, next light, water outlet, speaker hole. Alright, let's go ahead and open it up. There is the musical flower pot itself. So this cover, let's take it out. There it is. Oh, this one's peeling off a little bit, but it might be defective, but it's not. But it must still work properly, but... So let's go ahead and set this aside and take a look at the contents. We have a micro USB charging cable. This is for charging the uh, flower pot speaker up. And here's your instruction manual. K3, product, pedals, manual. This is nice. See, I already brought the bl oh, white one. This has a low pitch. Let's see if this one has the same tone. Let's see if this flower pot has the same tone. Like, it can be a different one, and it can be the same tone, like the one that I reviewed two months ago. Put the manual. Here's the speaker. As you can see, on the bottom, we have a speaker grill, as well as the three rubber grips. This is for keeping it in place for moving around your table. On the front, you have a DC 5 volt charging cable. This is for charging it up. Here's your, like, oh, okay, let me close it up. Here's your, this is your power button. Let's see if we got any juice on this. Oh, okay, so we got some juice on this. Mode, this is how you switch to Bluetooth and piano mode. This is your next button and your white button. If I press it, this will go through your songs. And if you press it, this will activate light show. On the top, you have a touch sensor or your button. Whenever I touch that, it will go all through your piano light modes. Here's this water scuplet hole. Alright. Whenever I tap it, oh, green is dim, blue is not. Red is working fine. Okay. So let's press this button right here. Let's go to the next one. Oh. When I, yeah, maybe try and press it. You might come back into this in a second, though. Alright, let's switch to Bluetooth. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Alright, you see those blue indicator lights? They'll let you know that it's in pairing mode. Alright, so let's go ahead and pair this up for the first time. I've got my phone right here. Checked all my Instagram photos. We'll get back to this in a second. Alright, let's go ahead and pair this up for the first time. Just take it to settings, go to Bluetooth. You might find the device K3 or it can be saying something else. Yeah. Scan for devices. Okay, K3, let's go and pair this up. As you can see, any kind of light went out. Okay, now it just paired up. Alright, let's take it to SoundCloud real quick. Okay, here's a song we're going to use. Soul Group Universe Neverlink. It's going to max volume. A 
as you can see, let me go ahead and see if... Okay, this one does not all uh, go off. Okay, let me pause this. So, so on this Bluetooth mode, you can't even switch it off. Like, you have to leave this on. So let's go ahead and play some music. Okay, I like it. All right, to power it off. Hold on the power button. Power off. Okay, until you hear that tone. So let's go ahead and like just to charge up the speaker. Put your micro USB cable in here. As you notice, you're gonna get a red LED and a get a light popped up to let you know that it's charging up. When it's completely charged, this will shut off and you can just unplug it. I love the speaker. So that's going to do for me, guys, in this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.